All right, I'm going to do a little video here uh, how I make my arrows. I'm starting with a uh, PSE Radio X Weave 300 Pro shaft, and I'll show you from beginning to end how I make my arrows. Right, first thing I do is I uh, take a, a silver marker and on the knock end of the arrow, just cover the end of it the whole way around so you can see the marker. Then what I do, have a uh, G5 squaring device. Take it, put the arrow on the squaring device, and rotate it. Till all the markers off the end, that way you know your arrow is nice and square on the end. Still got a little bit left here on the side, so I'll rotate it a couple more times. Okay. Now the end of that arrow is square, so I'll go ahead and I'll insert my knock, and then I'll clean the shaft, get it ready for feathers or veins, whichever right, I'm putting. Next on. step, I uh, take a little rag and dip it in some alcohol, and clean the shaft good. Where I'm, the end, I'm going to stick the feathers on. Make sure all the black carbon dust comes off of it and it's nice and clean, and then just let that air dry, and then I'm ready to start putting feathers on. Alright, uh, now I'm using uh, my jig. I have a 6 hour Joe Jane um, left helical. I'm going to use one purple cock feather 4 inch and two fluorescent yellow. So basically what I do is I'll take put my cock feather in my clamp And then I always dry fit my feather, make sure it lines up uh, good, lines up. Take, I use just plain old fletch tight glue, run a bead on the feather. Place the feather down on the air, make sure it seats, and let it set for 10 minutes, and then switch to the next one. Alright, it's been 10 minutes now. All I'll do is loosen the clamp, switch the air to the next point, and then repeat the same thing. Put a dry vein or dry feather in it. Dry fit it, put it down, make sure everything lines up. Now we're gonna get that on there a little bit. There we go. Now run my light bead of glue on it. Set it down on the shaft, make sure it touches everywhere, push it down. Alright, now we just undo the clamp, rotate it again, put your last feather in. Dry fit it again to make sure it lines up, lines up good. Small bead, crossed it, place it down in the clamp, and let that one dry, and then that arrow will be done. dry, so release the clamp, take it out. Now what I'm going to do is take the arrow, right at the front of the feather, put a dab of glue on each one, keeps the fronts from lifting. Then go to the backs and do the same thing. OK, 
Okay, now after that what I do, every shaft I build, I uh, number each one. So, what did I do with my marker? Alright, after I got it all glued up, then I take it and cut it on my aerosol. Stick it in my saw. And what I do, I'll take the air square device again and wipe the end off and uh, coat the end again. And then I'll square that in now. Okay, it's all cleaned up. Now what I'll do is I'll take a Q-tip, some alcohol, clean the inside of the shaft, and then I'm ready to install an insert. Okay, now when I do my inserts, I do mine a little bit different. Um, I'll take and put my insert on my broad head, and then I'll light my torch. And then I'll put the glue on the insert on the broad head. Okay, and then I'll take that and I'll heat that up until the glue's hot. And then I slide that in, push it in, and then I'll rotate my broadhead to my blades line up with my feathers. That way I'm sure I'm gonna get a good flying air. Okay, once my glue's dry then. I'll take it and I'll stick it on my Dixon broadhead aligner and I'll spin it to make sure there's no wobble in that air. And if there's no wobble, that air will fly good. Okay, so basically that's how I build my airs from start to finish. Complete air ready to go hunting with.